All right, one of the things I often get asked after people get over the fact that cameras can be hidden in our hotel rooms, yes, they can. Then the next question is, where? Where would they hide those? Well, usually it's the point of conversation. They usually want to collect the audio more than they want to collect the video. So microphones are typically put in places of where conversations, the center of conversation and where they might take place the most. So in a hotel room, it's going to be pretty much anywhere because audio these days can co co collect from some pretty decent distances. You could literally put you know, some of the newer microphones a couple of rooms away and still hear the conversations in this room. But installations of cameras and microphones can start uh, up in different emergency devices or signals, whether it be um, carbon monoxide detectors, fire detectors. Obviously these are kind of first and obvious locations because they already have some kind of power Parasitic power is important when you install a microphone or a camera um, so that you don't have to change out batteries all the time. <clears throat> and to the lamp, uh, they've got light bulbs these days that you can just unscrew your traditional light bulb and then screw in a spy light bulb that actually has cameras and audios attached to it. Uh, into the pictures, hotel rooms, everything is bolted to the wall which gives foreign intel services, law enforcement, the advantage of hiding all kinds of stuff behind this canvas. This little hole right here could be a pinhole camera, or it could be a microphone, and you would never know, and you can't deliberately go and pull this thing off the wall, nor would you want to. When it comes to hanging out in your hotel room, you want to look natural. You don't want to run around looking for cameras. You just need to know that these things can exist just about anywhere that there is power. Light sockets, power sockets, all of these can be put, you can put uh, audio and video in behind these as well because once again, anywhere there's power is the best place to put a microphone or a camera. Um, they tend to steer away from windows and stuff, but the lamps um, into the, the bed frames is a good spot, especially these that are molded and built into the hotel room. They can, um, if you're overseas, the host nation tends to own, or the foreign government tends to own everything, to include the hotels. So for example, in Russia during the Winter Olympics in Sochi, they built hotels and the hotels were loaded with audio and video to capture anything that the Olympians were saying or doing. So once again, you don't want to say or do anything in a hotel room that you're not willing to broadcast around the world or on the internet. Other fixtures, of course, you know, more lamps, the TV. These flat screens have dead space. Any electronic device has dead space. And what that means is space in it that doesn't have a component or something occupying it. So that means I can add something to this TV. I could put in audio, I could put in a little itty bitty drill hole and a camera and see everything that's going on inside the room. And the beauty of it is, is if you're sitting in your bed or you're sitting on the couch, you're gonna come up and you're gonna position this so that you can see it. And the reality is, is you're actually positioning the camera and the microphone so that it gets the best image of you as well. Uh, going around the room, of course your laptop. Your laptop has a camera on it. Um, when you're traveling overseas using different Wi-Fi, I would put a piece of tape over that camera. Uh, that way they can't use your own technology against you. And <clears throat> lastly, you have your laptop and what people don't realize is when you are typing in your passwords, cameras can capture what's going on on your screen and they can see your fingers type in a password. So put yourself in the room closest to the wall, narrow the distance so that things that could be potentially installed around you have a less of a chance of seeing your screen and your laptop. So anytime you're going to sensitive websites, which you shouldn't, but if you do, you go to the website, bring your screen down closest to your hands, cover up your keyboard, type in your password, then bring your screen back up. And this will prevent 
law enforcement, host nation, foreign intel services from collecting your passwords and the sites that relate to them. And that's all I got. <laughs>